Welcome. This presentation will review the roles and responsibilities of a town's finance committee and how the committee works with other elected and appointed positions within local government. Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 39, Section 16, establishes and outlines the roles and responsibilities of the finance committees, unless any special act or charter states otherwise. The legislation applies to all Massachusetts towns, as each exceeds $1 million in total valuation. The committee's members can either be elected or appointed for a term not to exceed three years. Per the statute just reviewed, each town should establish a bylaw that formalizes the role and responsibilities of the finance committee. The bylaw should establish, at a minimum, a few key characteristics. First, the committee's name, which might be the Finance, Appropriations, Warrant, or Advisory Committee. Second, the number of members, which should be an odd number. Third, whether committee members are appointed or elected. In towns where members are appointed, this authority usually falls to the select board, moderator, or some other combination thereof. And fourth, a well-defined list of committee members' duties. Generally, the Finance Committee advises town meeting on financial matters as well as on all other municipal matters and acts as the fiscal watchdog to safeguard the overall management of taxpayer money. In advising the local legislative body, the Finance Committee should work closely with the select board and other town officials, We'll discuss these working relationships later in this presentation. The primary duty of the Finance Committee is to advise and make recommendations to town meeting on the budget and other subjects of under town meeting's consideration. Committee members may also play an important role in the budget process. The Finance Committee should review and recommend specific action on the budget. The committee should also review the town meeting warrant and develop a report recommending specific actions on all spending articles to town meeting. The Finance Committee report should provide an analysis that explains and justifies the recommendations in a clear and easy to understand format. Depending on the town charter or local bylaws, the committee may also play a part in the development of the budget and submit the budget to the annual town meeting for action. In this case, the Finance Committee may work with other local officials to develop long range revenue and expenditure forecasts to help identify upcoming operating and capital budget needs. Additionally, the Finance Committee may hold public meetings for department heads to present their budget requests and respond to questions from the committee or the public. Regardless of its role in the budget's development and review, the Finance Committee should promote the implementation of a budget process that results in a clear and meaningful budget document. The budget document should outline a clear set of goals and objectives, follow local financial policies, and establish the appropriations for the upcoming fiscal year. By statute, the Finance Committee has an advisory capacity regarding all municipal matters. It is town meeting, however, that has appropriating authority. To learn more about best practices regarding what the budget document should include, please refer to DLS's video presentation on this topic. Once the budget is enacted, the committee continues its role in the town's financial oversight. The Finance Committee should review monthly financial reports so that they are informed of changes in the town's financial situation, that may impact the upcoming year's budget or the condition at the end of the current fiscal year. As we will discuss, it is important for the Finance Committee to have open lines of communication with town staff to monitor effectively the town's finances. Regardless of its town-specific role in the budget process, the Finance Committee has authority over the Reserve Fund for extraordinary or unforeseen needs. The Finance Committee Reserve Fund is governed by Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 40, Section 6. This reserve fund is appropriated within a line item of the annual operating budget. The annual amount of the reserve may not exceed 5% of the tax levy for the preceding year. The Finance Committee, along with other fiscal stakeholders in the community, should develop guidelines for the use and request of the reserve fund. DLS's Municipal Finance Law Bureau's opinion on when reserve fund transfers are appropriate include the following. To provide for urgent or unforeseen expenditures that could not have been anticipated before town meeting, or to allow immediate expenditures of funds in the event of an emergency when the delay of having to call a special town meeting could be harmful. If the Finance Committee approves the use of its reserves, funds are dispersed through transfers to the applicable departments. The reserve fund should not be used to fund an appropriation that was rejected by town meeting. Every community structure is different in terms of how the various boards and committees operate and work together. 
Depending on the town, the Finance Committee may also participate in joint meetings with other policy boards, such as the Select Board, School Committee, and Capital Committee, to discuss overall fiscal policy and review the town's financial position. There are many opportunities for cooperation between the Select Board and the Finance Committee. Before discussing the ways the two collaborate, let's briefly review the role of the Select Board. The Select Board, as the local chief executive body, has overall responsibility for the general operations of town government. Typically, the Select Board is the primary appointing authority for the town and delegates appropriate tasks and responsibilities to professional staff. The Select Board is often in charge of determining the best course of action for the town and plays an active role in the town's financial management. As such, the Board often appoints local officials to carry out the fiscal management of the town. The Select Board should provide leadership and help to develop programs and policies as directed by town meeting. The Select Board should promote a team approach for addressing the fiscal issues of the community. DLS encourages a team approach to local financial management amongst elected and appointed boards, and there are many opportunities for collaboration between the Select Board and the Finance Committee, especially as it relates to the budget process. By agreeing on processes and procedures ahead of time, the Select Board and Finance Committee can help create a smoother and more efficient budget process. Depending on the town's management structure and local bylaw, the Select Board and Finance Committee can drive the establishment of a financial forecast to help guide them in their budget decision-making process, develop budget guidelines and the budget format for department heads to follow, review budget requests and understand the other's position on the budget, hold joint budget hearings to discuss the upcoming fiscal year's budget, and meet quarterly to discuss the community's financial condition. Generally, the two bodies should work together to establish policy priorities based on the needs of the community and taxpayers. Additionally, they should develop, review, and approve financial policies, such as appropriate uses of free cash and stabilization funds. As part of this team approach, the Finance Committee and Select Board should jointly develop a policy on year-end transfers. The Select Board, with the approval of the Finance Committee, may transfer any amount appropriated other than for the use of a municipal light department or a school department to any other appropriation from May 1st through July 15th in order to close out the town's financial records. Please refer to IGR 17-13 Appropriation Transfers for additional guidance. In addition to working with other elected or appointed boards, the Finance Committee works with the town's professional finance staff. DLS encourages boards and committees to rely on professional staff within the community to complete the day-to-day -day tasks. This approach to municipal management allows the boards and committees to review the work of the professional staff. The committee should also seek to create a strong working relationship with town staff, especially as it relates to the development of and compliance with financial policies. In doing this, the Select Board and Finance Committee should ensure that there are strong lines of communication between itself and financial staff. For more information and additional resources, please visit mass.gov DLS.